All right, this is the uh, wind turbine that Sut made. And I wanted to go over a little bit what he's done to lighten the Glow 175. Is he's uh, made a sandwich right here of ply and aluminum. Or no, I'm sorry, ply and fiberglass. And then fiberglass to the outside. So they're extremely strong and yet very, very light. They're about 3 8 inch thick. Um, these, uh, these blades are actually hollow. They're hollow. The spars actually only go about oh, four inches. All right, here's the um, blade that Sut makes. It's very simple. It's um, like 16 gauge um, sight, not 16 gauge, I don't know, 16 thousands. Um, you can see he's able to form these exactly as uh, the profile that I like to make. It's a little fatter on the outside of the turbine. And um, they're pretty strong. You know, once you form these, it puts a little edge on there and it just tucks in. And it's a pretty clever design how he makes these. Um, it will form this airfoil the minute you tuck that in. So I have this charging a uh, 12 volt battery, which is not a very good match for this um, alternator. A 12 volt battery is maybe one ohm resistance, theoretically one ohm, and the uh, stator up there is more like five and a half ohms. So it's not exactly a good match, but that's what we're going to do today. Right now, this turbine is um, shorted, dead shorted, and uh, winds are about eight to nine and I guarantee you if you had to turn that alternator fully shorted you'd find out how much power it takes to uh, do that by hand so even um, dead shorted this turbine's turning so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do startup okay I'm gonna go ahead and unshort it and we'll get it started Coming up, there's uh, it's a quarter of an amp right there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload the turbine from that 12 volt battery load. So let it spin up this way. So right now that's just free spinning. Pretty well balanced. My pole is uh, my pole has been somewhat abused over the last year and a half. Now I'm going to go ahead and load it again. You'll see it drop speed. When I went ahead and loaded it up, that was two amps dumping in from the speed. Kind of gives you a sense of what the 
power would be like if we had it on a 24 36 volt battery pack a little higher rpm a lot of torque you get a lot more power but this is a nice sedate speed i kind of like this anyway i wanted to thank sut for uh putting this design together definitely a nice um, a nice looking turbine and definitely a lot stronger uh, doesn't seem to be any kind of flex um, those blades are hollow and i i'm very impressed they don't bow out at all anyway thanks i've got this going into a 24 volt battery now and um, speed is doubled torque is up it's a better match with the two uh, two batteries. It's about two to three ohms resistance, and the stator's five ohms. It's a much better match. We're getting 30 watts uh, when winds get up to around 10. So definitely a better way to charge. My pole is kind of taking a beating because um, RPM isn't quite getting over TSR1 probably be better with a 36 volt battery but it's doing pretty good